Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City or Animal Crossing City Folk and it looks like, thankfully, Pete has arrived again today because yesterday we had full pockets and we couldn't receive the DLC um, but luckily he came back today which is really cool Oh hey there Maury, you have a letter from Reconnect24 So this, I don't know what this is actually, this should be the next DLC item that's being redistributed. Okay, looks like you've got your mail then. See you again. Thanks, Pete. Look, we still have our pinwheel and our Gracie outfit from yesterday. I wish we could talk to Pete more. I've got to get these deliveries wrapped up before I can head home. Only a few more to go. See you. Oh, okay, Pete. It's nice to see Pete around. Okay, so we'll check out what the DLC item is. Uh, oh yes, <laughs> we bought the cityscape at the end of the last episode for our robot room. Let's have a look. Uh, dear Rory, here's a very timely gift. It's a pave clock! Don't forget to get into the spirit of festival on the 15th of February to complete your amazing pave series. So this was been this has been distributed in honor of festival last month. Um, open it up. The Pave Clock, which is really cool because you can literally only get that item through DLC. Um, so it was lost to time when Nintendo turned off the service. But thanks to Reconnect24 and the, uh, the DLC being distributed again, we've got our hands on the Pave Clock, which is really cool. So we'll definitely have to put that in our storage. Actually, let's take a look at our house because we haven't really seen our house since we've been playing in like full HD. So we'll check it out. Everything's going to be really bright, I can tell already. <laughs> it was bright anyway, whoa! Look at the detail! I know, I don't know if I, I keep going on about this a lot, but it's just, it's just really exciting to go from like, what's basically standard definition to high definition. Anyway, we won't talk about that today, because we've kind of been talking about that for the last like two or three days, so. We've got to find our Pave stuff, we didn't get the full furniture series unfortunately from the event uh, because this year it did take place much earlier it was um, it took place in February sometimes it takes place in March sometimes it's in February this year because um, of the way the calendar fell it was an early festival it's all the stuff is in here somewhere here we go so we got pave bed chest closet chair table end table uh, Table, end table, chair, bookshelf, wall, and the clock. So there's, I think there's 13 items to get, or 14 if you include the DLC clock. Um, so I think we were missing the carpet, weren't we? Yeah, we were missing the carpet. And a couple of uh, smaller furniture items, which we tried really hard to get, but we couldn't get. So maybe we'll get them next year if we're still playing. But let's check out the robot room again. This looks so good, but we are going to change the sky. Oh, do you know what? I do that every time. I don't, I don't know if the wording is different in this game or... I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm used to the GameCube version. I think they use the word place to hang it on the wall, maybe? But I do that every time. Yeah, that looks really cool. I would definitely prefer the space theme. Uh, but we'll have to try and get that off Sahara at some point. But we've got, with this giant chest in here, we've got too much in here. So I think one day, this week definitely, we're going to do a big switcheroo. We're going to put all this stuff downstairs and bring the fruit stuff upstairs. At least that's, I think, I think that's what we're going to do. We won't do that today though because we have had two ridiculously busy episodes actually. We've... In the last couple of days, things just kept happening one after the other. Uh, we kept seeing new content, meeting new characters. So I think today, actually, I think I need to do it for my own sanity. <laughs> We're just going to relax. We're going to, you know, harvest some, um, harvest some coconuts and just have a chill day. Because we tried to have one yesterday and it turned into... Uh, chaos, which I love, don't get me wrong. But we need a relaxing episode every once in a while, so we're not going to do too much today. Uh, maybe plant some trees. We've got some trees to plant, actually. So, yeah, let's do, let's plant some trees, harvest some fruit, that sort of thing. Uh, reconnect, we want to keep. Um, there we go. Just rearranging the letters. Do you know what? We're going to get rid of all these. All these letters we want to keep, because they're ones you only get once. 
And we will eventually put them in our... Um, in our... Where you can save the mail in the post office. Let's check our mail. Uh, one letter from Rod. Oh no, Rod. Today is my last day in Moriland. Best thing I did here was be buds with you. I might be sweating in a different gym, but I'll always be lifting for you, Rod. Oh, Rod, we didn't know you cared so much. Does that mean his last day was yesterday or today? I'm just gonna water these flowers. There we go. Which reminds me, we've got some hybrids to water. Wait, is it? No, it's Friday today, isn't it? We're getting a good collection of hybrids. And these ones, there we go. So, oh, Rod has left. Rod has left the building and left us with a big messy dirt patch. Thank you, Rod. We'll buy some flowers today and just plant some here. Wow, we've got lots of uh, withered flowers today. But yeah, not too much today. I think we're just going to take it easy. We've got the flea market to look forward to tomorrow, I believe, as, as long as we don't forget. Apollo, your shirt, honestly, change it. Okay, let's uh, check out what we have. Actually, how much money have we got? Uh, oh, we've got enough money. Okay, we can get rid of those two things, I think. We'll sell those. Um, make some space, buy the flowers and stuff, and we'll just have a wander around town. Oops. Knocking things off my desk. Uh, cedar sapling, yes, we'll take that, please. I'm desperate to find the silver fishing rod, but I guess there's like a 1% chance it will appear here. Nope, still a normal fishing rod. Okay, I don't know why I pulled all of these out. We need to... We don't need the umbrella today. Won't need the shopping card today. Might not need these today. We'll see how we get on. There we go. Just creating a bit of space there. We do like the pinwheel, so we'll keep that out for now. I was going to keep the lucky raccoon, but we don't really have space for it at the moment. So I'm thinking... Oh, actually, do you know what? We should probably check to see if I can buy it again before I sell it. Um, we'll check the catalogue just to see if the lucky raccoon is in here. I wish we could surge. Um, okay, we can hold it down. Concentrating. <laughs> so here we go. If we look at the pavé clock. Oh, where's the pavé clock? Oh, it might be at the bottom. Here we go. DLC item. Oh, we can... We can rebuy it. That's so weird. It is a DLC item, but we can rebuy it. So if anyone's got their Wii online and they need one and they didn't get it, let me know. We can trade. Uh, okay, where is the... What were we looking for? The lucky... Raccoon figure. Oh, we can buy it again. That's okay. It is at the bottom of the catalogue, which implies... It's not part of a set. It's maybe a bit of a rare item. But definitely not part of a set. So we'll get rid of that. If we've got space once we move our house around, um, we will. I'm thinking we jumped into the feng shui too soon. I do want to do it at some point. I want the final house to be pure feng shui. But until we're at that point, we may as well make most of the robot room. And we can't really do the feng shui until we've got... All the upgrades anyway so the basement and everything so I think we'll swap it around should be fun so we'll buy all the flowers now two more to go yeah I quite like the haircut a few people are saying they like the haircut I do like the haircut. I, I don't know if the the, the colour suits me though. Okay, so we better get our points. We're in no rush today. This is definitely going to be a slower episode. Uh, how far are we at now? Total points. 
3,000. I, th I, would have, I would have thought it was going to be more than that. Your current membership is bronze. We need 1,000. Oh, we still need a whole bunch of points. Uh, we have something else to look forward to. Hopefully, I think it's going to be on one day early next week. We should be able to travel between towns now. I have a second Wii set up. Um, so hopefully, we should be able to travel to another town. Yeah, we, oh, that's, is that a metronome? We're starting to see a lot of the same items now. I'm wondering if, apart from like sets, I'm wondering if we're, we're close to completing some of the main catalog. Oh, lovely wall. I think we'll catalog that. Just in case we haven't got it already. The regal wall, wow, we'll catalog that as well. Oh, the pockets are full. Oh, that was the regal. What was the one in the middle then? Don't tell me you got two regal walls. Oh, modern screen. Okay. Okay, while we're in here, we're just going to sell this and catalogue the regal wall. Um, there we go. Buy the regal wall. The, eff the efforts and lengths we go to to catalogue things. There we go, get rid of that. Sell. Okay. Don't think we want anything from here. That's pretty cool, but... We're not desperate for anything. We will get to a point where we're just going to start buying everything up. I guess we haven't bought a lot in a while, which is why our points are so low. But we will get to a point where we start, uh, like, you know, filling out the catalogue and getting all the items and trying to complete that, I think. That's always a really good stretch goal to do, especially the sets, at least. Maybe not the random kind of miscellaneous items, but definitely the, the full sets. Right, let's drop these flowers down here, plant them, try and repair what Rod has broken. It's just going to be a case of planting them like this. And then watering them. So it's early in the morning, but... Doesn't feel like spring, does it? Very grey sky. Right, we'll water these flowers. If we avoid this area now, it should start to grow back. I hope. There we go. Right, we'll pick these up. Grab all of these. I think we should have enough space. Yep, so we've got, wow, we've got six, 11. Okay, so I'm thinking about planting some over here. We were going to put some here, weren't we? So I think this is a good place to start. Uh, whoops. And we did do a test. Some of the trees won't grow so close to the cliff. So we can only, literally only put two in. There we go. Perfect, so those two should grow. Um, do we want to make a bit of an entrance here? I suppose we could plant some new ones and then we'll go and replace some. There we go, have a bit of an entrance coming here. I don't know if one will grow there. Um, do you know what, we'll leave that one. Let's plant one here. And we'll use the rest to replace hardwood trees. I think it's time to get rid of some of these ones. Let's 
So we'll keep the fruit trees until the very end, I think. It's so fun! Okay, how many have we done? Four. Uh, three more. Wow, this area is very open, isn't it? Thank you. One. Two. Three. So basically what we're doing, in case you haven't heard me talk about it before, is on the upper tier, so everything on the, the highest tier where the shops are and everything, I want it to be kind of a forest, so it's going to be, we've got, the aim is to replace all hardwood trees with cedar trees, so it's like the high, a high ground, like mountain forest, very similar to how it is on the GameCube, you tend to have cedar trees more in the north, and then they spawn less and less the more south you get, and vice versa with the cedar trees, so we're trying, uh, with the hardwood trees, that's what we're trying to mimic, uh, but I thought it'd be cool to separate them with the cliff. So everything down there is going to be hardwood trees eventually. Uh, and they should all grow. We will fill them out as well, put some more around them. But these are just the ones we're going to do today. Hopefully Wendell visits again soon and we get a another pattern. There we go, so that's those. So what was it? Three more? Was there one over here? Oh no, two more. So yeah, the last two episodes went off on such tangents each time. They just kept going and going. It was really good. I like episodes like that. Um, but sometimes it's nice just to chill and not worry too much. We have so many things to do as well. I always put them off. So that's what we're going to do today. Oh yes, we might do the fossils today as well. Still looking for a way to move a rock without a save edit. I don't think we can. Unfortunately, we definitely, if, even if we don't do the fossils, we definitely need to hand the gyroids over to Brewster. Oh, we didn't fall in it! Makes a nice change. Okay, we're just looking for fossils now, actually. It's so hard to spot. See how long Kusto left and the ground is still like that. You can see it's starting to come back. So it's very slow. It's like one point each day. And there's, uh, I think it's a maximum of 255 points. Which is pretty crazy. So zero is complete dirt. And 255 is complete grass. So I think you get something like seven points a day if it's next to a tree. Stuff like that. It's, uh, it's better to have it next to trees and flowers. We found the money rock! Which is good, because we need to make up some of the money we lost yesterday. Hey! We got, hey! We got a, two double bags. Get away from my bells. I wonder what the origin for the for bells is. Why did they decide to go with bells? Because it's a really good name for a currency. There we go. Hey! Saucy! Say, Shorty, are you having that feeling that you and I are like the same person or whatever? I read a magazine that said people from the same town have the same aura and stuff. So even though we look so totally different, we're like two faces of the same Mori land. Oh my gosh! So what about those visitors and traveling sales people and whatever? They must have a totally different look going on. Yeah, I guess. Oh, Tipper, hey. Tipper's slowly becoming one of my favorites, I think. The cows are underestimated. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> the fish fanist uh, fashionistas will totally spurn me if I Oh, yes. It's like I see the fish around every corner taunting me. Oh, yes, maybe we should go and check out the 
get try and get a dab again. I totally forgot that's what we were doing. Uh, oh, gotta stay off the path. Hey Jay, have you seen any fossils around here? Looking for some fossils. Should be at least three somewhere. Oh, actually our apple tree should have spawned. Oh no, there it is. Looks like it will grow tomorrow. Apollo, hey. I can't believe, we haven't seen Wisp in forever. Does Wisp only come once a month or something? Okay, we're just looking for some fossils, so. If I walk past one, please put it in the comments because I'm useless when it comes to spotting them. Nothing around here. They could be directly behind a tree, of course. Oh, there's a weed. <laughs> a weed right on the edge of the cliff. Oh, there's another weed up there. How did we miss that? It's near Rod's old house. Can't see any fossils. Okay, while we're down here, may as well harvest some coconuts then. Not sure where the fossils are hiding, but we've got plenty to go and appraise anyway, so. Right, we harvested these yesterday, so let's do these ones. Still not decided whether we want to fill out the beach area with coconuts. Or whether we have enough already. I would like to put some more further towards the back, like up here. This one, for example. Any fossils? No. Let's <laughs> uh, grab the pinwheel. Sell that. Leave that there. Probably don't need the axe anymore today. So yeah, we'll just do a few runs of the uh, coconuts, I think. And hopefully stumble across some fossils. I'm surprised we don't have a visitor today. So sorry if you can hear my belly rumbling, by the way. <laughs> okay, let's, uh... They're definitely not around here. Where are they? Oh, they might be behind our house, where all the golden shovels are, maybe. But I can't believe for a second that we haven't found three of them. So, welcome, please, please, browse all you like. We're here to sell. We're here to make money. There we go. Easy money. Easy money. Thank you, Tom Nook. We'll go out now and just continue selling some of the coconuts because in the next few days we'll also have peaches and apples to sell as well. Um, okay. Keep the slingshot out. Just on the off chance we... See a balloon or see Gulliver. We don't really come this side, do we? It's a shame our Nooks is on the upper tier. I would love to surround Nooks in fruit trees, but that's what we're doing with the cedar trees, so that won't be happening. Oh, there's one! Just as I've put the shovel away. <laughs> One down, two to go. But yeah, please don't forget to put in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see me do. 
I am, don't worry, I am making a conscious effort to talk to the villagers more. I know that's my biggest uh, fault. <laughs> Can't see any more. Maybe right down in this corner. Oh, there's one here. There we go. And there's, there's got to be one more somewhere. Hey, Jay, have you seen a fossil anywhere? Yo, Shorty, this must be the morning type. You look ready to shoulder tackle the day. Uh, this weather makes me want to rally everyone for an epic party. Yes, please. Uh, the stuff of legends. <laughs> Uh, and a catching exotic fish party, hey, or a playing the theremin party. Maybe even reading a comic books party. Doesn't matter as long as it's intense. Wow. I'm down for any kind of party. This could be the last day, actually, that Tipper wants a dab. Uh, right, let's do another coconut run. As soon as I put the shovel away, we know we're going to find them. And we might have a little bit of a fish for five minutes after this. Just to see. We are playing at a different time of day today. So just to see if we could come across a dab. I do like, I, I do like completing those side quests. I don't like just leaving them. Um, and it's really cool that it, it kind of comes over to the next day. I think I think it goes for three days actually, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got oh full. So there's still one fossil lurking somewhere. We need to run different. Let the grass heal. Run down this way instead. It's probably right in front of our house or something. Yeah, the 10 a.m. music in City Folk is really just super chill. <laughs> Definitely fits with the vibe of just wanting to relax. And I think it's okay to have relaxing episodes. I hope it's okay anyway. Right, we're rich. We've almost made our money back that we blew yesterday on all of Red's items and Gracie items. I wonder if we can use the shopping card in Nooks. Huh. Right, I'm going to go and put this fossil over here. I think we'll wait until Sunday. Because we'll have the flea market tomorrow. And then Sunday we can do all these fossils, I think. Right, let's have another look up here for the last fossil, actually, just quickly. Because I'd like to find it. Is it on the dirt somewhere? No. Nope, can't see it. We've pretty much been everywhere, haven't we? So there's obviously not a visitor today either. Which is weird. We haven't seen Wendell this week, have we? Oh, hey. Whoa! Hey, Chill M, do you like, uh, have like a signature battle cry? Uh, no. <laughs> Can you come up with a cry for me? Sure. Let me just grab my keyboard real quick. Um, what is this? Like, oh, what's the greeting? Charge. <laughs> That's what we're going with. Charge. Just because he said it was a battle cry. I don't really know what a good battle cry is. Someone should write a book. You know how you get a book of names? Someone should write a book of Animal Crossing greetings. 
I think we should commission it. Nice to see this is definitely healing, isn't it? All that's healing up. It's a bit weird that it even became dirt in the first place. One of the villagers, who lived up there? I can't remember who it was. Was it Gigi or someone lived there? Um, maybe they just used to walk over that bit a lot. Right, let's grab our fishing rod. See if we can quickly find a dab. That was a good guess. I don't like leaving these quests uncompleted. But we caught 15 fish yesterday. Not one of them was a dab. And this is going to be, already, this is going to be a sea bass, isn't it? So tricky. Come on. Please be a dab. No, sea bass. Can't wait for the long summer days and we can catch some sharks. Tipper, we're working hard for you. Can you not catch your own dab? Too busy chatting to Filbert. Oh, for a second I thought it was a dab. Dabs have like different pattern. Jay, everyone's on the beach. What's going on? Beach party. So many coconuts. Oh. I can't I wish there was a better way to turn this all to sand. Because we kind of just have to keep running on it. What a big beach. Do you know what? The fossil, the third fossil might be hiding somewhere in amongst these coconut trees. Where are the fish? There's a little fish. I think that's too small to be a dab. No, it every time I decide to cast the line, it, it turns. There we go. Woo! No, I was hoping there was going to be a dab. We need the medium shadow fish, but they're just so hard to spot. There's another one, but it's a river fish. Can't see any more fish. Tipper, you might be out of luck. We need it to rain. Oh, here's another one. It's going to be a squid or a horse mackerel, though. Yep, horse mackerel. Squid or horse mackerel. I don't want to miss it. Just on the off chance, there's it's like a baby dab. I don't know if they ever do different size shadows or if they always have the same size shadow. sell these for bells. It's not like it's a lost cause because any, any fish we do catch we can sell. It would just be nice if we could catch a dam.
So we'll head. Oh, I think this fish here is occupying this uh, acre's spawn. Ah, oh, here you go. Another sea bass. <laughs> or maybe a super rare shark, but probably not. Oh! Maybe it's a football fish. He looked at it and turned away. Oh! Yep, sea bass. Sea bass, I swear they're some of the most stubborn fish. Right, we'll catch one more. Actually, how much pocket space have we got? Oh, we've got a, a little while. We'll just, we'll run to the end of this beach. And then I think we'll have to see if Tipper still wants it tomorrow. I might get, oh, here we go. This could be, this could be it. No, sea bass. I'm thinking I might get rid of some of the, the coconut trees around the peninsula because it's looking a bit long and like, it's repeating too much, if you know what I mean. It's 11 o'clock. It's not going to be one anyway. Here we go. Oh, here we go. This is a medium-sized shadow. This is either going to be a dab or an olive flounder. Tipper, you could be witnessing your dab in the making. Oh, it's a red snapper. We'll take it though. Get all the bells. That was too small a fish anyway. Apollo, we've got no time to talk. And you're just gonna ask me to change your greeting. Finally, we caught a dab. And I'm feeling fab. Where's Tipper? Woo! Glad we did it. I'm glad we didn't give up. I almost did. Now we can't find Tipper. <laughs> ah. But yeah, don't forget to let me know what you think of these days where we're just kind of walking around. Apollo, what have you done with Tipper? Oh, there you are. A fish! Here you go. Here's your precious dab. Yeah, I'd love your feedback on slower episodes like this. Whether you still want to see them or whether you think we should skip days where we're just kind of... All that for 560 bells. I'm sorry to have bothered you about it, Chill M. I'm always remember this when I need more help. Well, I'm glad to be of help. But yeah, let me know your feedback um, for slower episodes. Right, we're going to go ahead and sell these fish. But yeah, start not this week coming, but next week. So in April, we're starting double uploads again. So we're going to start a new game. I don't know what yet, though. <laughs> so let me know your ideas. I will keep asking on the community tab as well because I want... Everyone to be able to see and have a say. There we go. Whoa! 
Nice. Nice round 32,000 bells that we can put in our bank. But there we go. It's probably going to do it for this episode. Like I said, very chill episode. Sometimes I think it's nice just to maintain the town, do some maintenance, do some gardening and just chill out. Um, because we have seen a lot of the game now, but we still got so much more kind of side quests to do and our own designing and stuff. So that's kind of where the direction we're heading now. But let me know what you think of these episodes. Um, I definitely want to make sure that the content is still entertaining for you. So your input is really, really important. So thank you. And thank you, of course, to the channel members for supporting this. I hope everyone of you is still enjoying this as well. Uh, don't forget your game ideas in the comments ready for not next week, but the week after when April gets here. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>